Greetings, my friends. Please consider supporting me in my war to save pop culture by subscribing to my channel and possibly even becoming a channel member for exclusive videos, access to Doomcock emojis, and more. And if you like this video in particular, please consider using the new Super Thanks feature and putting a tip in the tip jar located next to the like buttons down at the bottom of the video. Thank you for watching, and now, on to the video. Greetings, my friends. Disney is having a very, very bad time right now. <laughs> Disney's stock is tanking, Disney's public approval ratings have taken a massive hit after revelations emerged that they are feeding children LGBTQ plus propaganda strategically placed in Disney's programming, and now my Hollywood spies have uncovered some very interesting information regarding how people are tuning out of Kenobi en masse in reaction to the latest episode, an episode that appears to have driven people to tune out in the middle of the show. There's a phrase that comes to mind in all of this, my friends. Go woke, go broke. This is a lesson that Disney is still struggling to learn, but it appears that the marketplace and the fans are hell-bent on teaching them this lesson. Disney richly deserves the punishment it is receiving at the hands of the stock exchange and Disney Plus viewers. For too long, Disney has existed inside a bubble of delusion, forgetting that they are in the entertainment business. And to succeed in the entertainment business, you have to, you know, entertain. Judging from the incompetent trash clogging the arteries of Disney Plus, it's no wonder they're having a corporate coronary. Perhaps it's time to apply the shock paddles rectally. Rectal shock paddles, eh? That's a pretty good one-sentence review of Kenobi, Skull of Calderon. And a damned fine way to describe what's been happening to Disney's stock recently. So let's begin there. To quote Dr. Smith on Lost in Space, Oh, the pain. The pain. There's just no good way to spin this, folks. Disney is losing market value by leaps and bounds. Look at this. Right now, the stock is sitting around $94.38 and... No, wait. As I speak, I just saw the stock drop to $94.13. Kind of reminds me of the old Limbo song, How Low Can You Go? <laughs> you want a definition of disaster, folks? How about losing over 12% of your company's value in just five days? In just five days, folks! Imagine waking up one morning and finding that over 12% of your money was gone from your bank account. That's nothing compared to losing 99% of your body. Trust me, I know. But that said, you make a good point. Disney has lost billions due to wokeness, hubris, fan abuse, and good old-fashioned suck. The suck is strong with Disney. Woke creates it. Makes it grow. I don't know anything about the stock market, so I can't say if this is all Disney's fault, but I can say it's very satisfying to watch their money spiral down the drain like the fanboy tears they love to mock. Agreed. I know expert on the market either, but I do know that stock prices are supposed to go up, not down. <laughs> now, while I'm aware that the stock market in general is having a bad time at the moment, the rate of decline for Disney is a long-term trend, and while the overall bear market is having an impact on that decline, it seems naive to think that all the many negatives about Disney have not exacerbated that decline. With Disney's public approval hovering around a paltry 30%, with all the revelations about their not-at-all-secret gay agenda, with the terrible shows they keep shoveling onto Disney+, Plus, the stock drop is not merely a market aberration. It is a reflection of a harsh reality that Disney is out of touch with its audience, it is no longer a loved and trusted brand, and this decline is only a taste of the bitter failures yet to come. Disney knows this, and I am told by my Hollywood spies that there is an emergency meeting happening at Disney today. And while my sources have yet to ascertain the specific reason for this meeting, I imagine it has something to do with their corporate profits going the way of the tidy bowl man. More on this story as it develops, but now we come to a fascinating piece of leaked information from a source inside Disney provided to me by my Hollywood spies regarding the viewership drop-off on episode 4 of Kenobi. 
At this point, I want to say that the information I'm about to share with you is information provided by a source who claims to have knowledge of the situation inside Disney. But since I cannot independently verify this information, I must present it to you as mere rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. Commune with us, Doomcock. Share your wisdom. What happened with Kenobi? Yes, convey your collection of culled data, you cacophonous cretin. Silence, Skull of Calderon, or I'll send you into the Justin Bieber dimension, where everyone is a believer. Everything is pinker than Pepto-Bismol, and there's nothing to watch on TV, except my pretty pony. Shutting up now. Pray continue. As I was saying, my Hollywood spies have provided me with some fascinating figures regarding the tots for Episode 4 of Kenobi. For those of you who don't know, T.O.T. or TOT is short for Tune Out Time. Disney and other streaming services track you as you watch their programming, and they pay particular attention to when you tune out of their episodes. This gives them some information regarding how well any particular show holds your attention, or if there's something objectionable in the show that makes people tune out. Well, my friends, there was indeed something objectionable in Kenobi's fourth episode, something that made a large part of the audience tune out at pretty much exactly the same point in the show. The point where 10-year-old Princess Leia is about to be tortured by Reva, the Inquisitor. Evidently, and who could have predicted this, audiences on what is supposed to be a wholesome family-friendly streaming channel don't really like to see children abducted, abused, and tortured! Go figure! But yeah, when Disney showed Leia being interrogated by the amazing Reva, the bestest Inquisitor ever, they said, yeah, no more for me. And they stopped watching. They turned off, and they dropped out. What the hell is wrong with Disney? What are they thinking? They sure don't seem to like kids much, do they? No wonder the overwhelming majority of the public disapproves of Disney now. No wonder at all, Harvey. And as I was saying, w wait a minute, whoops. Disney's stock just dropped from $94.13 to $93.79 in the space of time that we're recording this video. It's dropping in real time, Harvey. This is amazing. As the market overall is recovering from yesterday's losses, Disney's stock is continuing to fall. It's a sobering reminder that over the past six months, Disney stock has lost 36.67% of its value. That's over a third of Disney's company value on the stock exchange. That's tens of billions of dollars of company value gone like a fart in the wind. And yet Disney continues to shovel substandard propaganda at kids, shows kids being interrogated in a Star Wars show, takes political sides, characterizes fans as racists and sexists if they dare to complain about the lousy shows they're getting with their entertainment dollars, ha! <laughs> and Disney wonders why it is hated. Hated is a strong word, Doomcock, but not strong enough. I think loathed is a better one for a company that has lost over 36% of its value in the last six months. Where will they be in another six months, I ask you? Wishing their stock was still at $93.79, I imagine. I think they'll look back on June 14th, 2022 as the good old days. <laughs> Bingo, Harvey Cthulhu. It kind of reminds me of the scene in True Romance, where Christopher Walken punches Dennis Hopper in the nose and tells him, Hurts, doesn't it? That ain't any kind of fun. But what I have to offer you, that's as good as it gets and it won't ever get that good again. So as Disney holds its emergency meeting today, wondering how to stop the free fall of their stock and the massive decline in their popularity with the public, wondering why Galaxy's Edge and the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel are such failures, wondering why fans don't like having their legitimate criticism of Disney's substandard programming dismissed as racism, I hope the Disney executives will treasure this golden moment when Disney had only lost 36% of its value, because that's as good as it gets, and it won't ever get that good again. Unless, of course, they get a clue, stop pandering to the woke crowd on Twitter, and stop sucking. It's very easy to start sucking, 
but very hard to stop once you've started. Unless Disney purges their company of the whinging, whiny wankers of woke, worse matters will get. And after all these years of abuse, condescension, and disappointment, I'm just fine with Disney suffering the consequences of their actions. And their stock just dropped to $93.49. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends. Oh, oh, oh yes. Stay angry. But stop a moment to smell the roses in this, the good old days. Ha, 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 ha.